Hi guys and welcome back for another tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play Um Papa from the Grade 2 clarinet book. I think this is a super famous little tune from Oliver here and a great piece for learning how to play over the break and at a steady tempo. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music now, let's just talk about some of the detail in the music and how to make it sound really awesome. So I think this is a great little piece actually for practicing, you know, really good standard fingering over the break of the instrument. So what I mean by that is, is really good sort of transition from the A So using that lower part of the A key all the fingers on the B and then just lifting that off and landing on your right hand C key. So in this piece play with a really clear one, two, three sort of waltz tempo. So really give that lean on beat one on every bar on this piece. It won't sound as long as it's not too over the top, it will sound perfectly in place with this music. And there's also a good selection of phrasing detail in this piece and good bars where you can play legato and then contrast that with some nice clear staccato playing. Also, I think in bar three, I think for younger players actually, I mean, I specifically remember when I was a young player playing around that part of the instrument when you haven't really got any fingers down or hands in the right place, it can be a bit of a wobbly experience if you're a bit nervous. So bear that in mind when you go into the exam. Doesn't look too bad when I play it, but I remember when I was a young player, that kind of thing would be quite hard to get control of. So just bear that in mind. Now my preference when teaching over the break, ignoring the young hand thing at the moment, my preference would always be to keep as much of it as you can on the right hand. So bar nine and 17, for example. I would just use one finger there for the B. I wouldn't bother with sort of putting two fingers down. And also, what else have I written down here? Bar 21. 21, 25, 27, 31. So again, I would try and just keep that on the right hand where possible. So again, I'm trying to keep things on the right hand where I can. And the reason for this, of course, is that as you're playing the notes around that area, it makes it, it kind of makes sense to use the same hand rather than trying to synchronize a left and a right hand together. It's just slightly simpler keeping it all on the one hand. So I think that's it for the lesson side of things. In summary, watch out for the, the throat note kind of thing with the agility there. And then just watch out for the, the contrast between your legato bars and your clear staccato bars and just make sure that it sounds very waltz like okay right so grab your bluetooth speaker or your headphones or whatever you're going to use see if you can play along with the accompaniment track yourself i'm going to play it along again at a steady tempo for you to play along with and then i'm going to isolate the piano part so that you can play it with the piano all by yourself okay you ready 
Here we go. Okay guys, I think that's it for Um Papa. I hope you played that really accurately with the piano. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and you can get future updates on videos that I upload. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.